you know, playing this game for the first time back in the day, I could have swore all the treasure chests had a PlayStation logo on them. Like, was that just a me thing, or...? I'm uh, I'm really offended by this game's depiction of dwarfs. I don't feel like we are being represented fairly here. Okay, yeah, no, not really. Oh, it's a orc. Never mind. Yeah. They can do whatever they want with orcs. So what, is, what, is, what he says? <laughs> he said the night pot's a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, I think it was a you thing. I don't remember PlayStation logos on the chests. Yeah, I, like, they look just enough like it, and of course the graphics are all pixelated to hell and back. It looked just enough like it to make me think that, so I wasn't sure if that was for real or not. Mm -hmm. I mean, at, at that age, yeah, with the pixels. So what actually is it? Um... <clears throat> Mm. Good job, Dart. Oh, and for PS1, that is still some pretty good looking water. That is good looking water. What he says, hell of a hell of I know it's been a minute since he's played this. Oh yeah. Um... No, I didn't expect him to know that. Uh, the answer to that question. I was more thinking you could Google it for me, darling. Like on top of the chest? Yeah. Lord, they just tear Shana up. <laughs> Boca! <laughs> oh, I know, Woody. It definitely brings back memories. <laughs> Yep, and we're going to be hopefully going through the whole uh, game on this playthrough with this specific version. And Woody, if you don't know, because we did the intro earlier, this isn't the PS1 version. This is actually a reverse-engineered, straight-up PC port done by... Uh, it, it's a completely fan project. So, a lot of, a lot of graphical improvements are to come. Got some cool screenshots to check out on their site but uh the version's called severed chains if you get interested and for me it honestly plays quite a bit better than the uh what is it called the ps1 emulated version <laughs> he was wondering why the game looked a little clean right <laughs> yeah i just could not get the emulated version to look anywhere close to okay compared to this one so uh even though this is kind of an experimental build there's still a couple graphic glitches sound glitches and stuff in my opinion this is still the best way to play the game for now especially once the version 3 comes out it looks like a brand new remake when those guys get done well more of a remaster not a remake it's very very pretty but still plays like the original Okay, so from screenshots of the PlayStation game, that symbol isn't on top of the crates. <laughs> okay. So that's added in. Um, no, no, I remember them from when I was young. Like, it had to have been there. 
I'm looking at a picture of a crate right now from the PlayStation game, and there's nothing on the top of it. All right. Well, hopefully a true fan watches the VOD and can clear it up for us, because I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, the originals had the logo on them, too. It does kind of look like the Legend of Dragoon part from the logo. All right. A Mandela effect? I mean, it could be with the logo. Yeah, I would I would think something like that is probably going on too, except for oh, Labbits. Oh, it's not your time yet, bro. Aw, oh, we appreciate you, Zarkon. Oh, is he coming in the lurk? Uh he says he's he's a cyberpunk fan, so he says, Hey Choom, stopping in to say what's up in Lurk. Got to get ready for a job interview. Glad to see more old school games. Oh, absolutely, man. We'll try and keep them coming, too. And thank you, thank you for the support. <clears throat> There's a remastered version of Secret of Mana that came out on Steam. Not too long ago. Yeah. Okay. Plus, no, that wasn't the one you were going to play. It was Secret of Evermore? Yeah, Secret of Evermore was basically... It was a Western version of Secret of Mana. Um, and also of note, and I'll harp on this till the day I die, it was Jeremy Soule, the composer for Skyrim and several other famous video game soundtracks. It was his first gig. Mm -hmm. And, like, I played it as a kid. I never played Secret of Mana. I eventually played Legend of Mana later on in life. Mm -hmm. But Secret of Evermore was just it for me. And, like, people tried to sell me on Secret of Mana. Fantastic game. Not gonna hate on it the least little bit but between the atmosphere the music the alchemy system of secret of evermore that, that game charmed the pants off me mm -hmm. yeah woody just said day, secret I'm of evermore just... rocked ass <laughs> so. oh Shana got left behind because dart and lavitz were having a bro moment i saw that he's like yeah it's a good long relationship we'll have <laughs> yeah that's makes makes knowing what comes later even more of a gut punch <laughs> hmm. I guess I can get to the other one by coming at it another way mm -hmm. so I just saw the cutest thing ever Oh, what was it? So, remember I told you my shrimp had his very first molt and he was squishy? Yeah. So he's like peeking his head out of the barrel to eat. And I'm watching him eat and he's like, he's got his little, his little limbs out in front of him and he's like picking food up like a sloth would and putting it in his mouth. <laughs> nom, nom, so nom, cute. nom. <laughs> Look at him go. It's like, oh, food. It's very cool. I've never seen a shrimp eat before. Yeah, remind me not to eat my soup around him. Wouldn't want to offend him. Yeah, no, you don't want to offend him. I can't eat shrimp around him, so. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, stop healing, Mr. Orc. You're just prolonging the inevitable. So, in your opinion, the representation they have here of orcs, does it fit what you would think of in your head when you were younger? No. Orcs are green. Orcs are green? Orcs are green. Yeah. Orcs should always be green. The only time I think it's fitting to not have green orcs, if there are already green orcs in that storytelling facility and you just want to add a different variety of orc, sure. But regular ass orcs should be green. Oh, you know a lot.
don't just chat amongst yourselves and leave me out. Tell me what they are. <laughs> This scene kind of rem reminded me of when I was younger. <laughs> when everybody was like, I know something you don't know. Yeah, it was kind of childish, yeah. to be real. So if you are playing through this game and you love yourself a good old fashioned grind fest, then technically this is one of the best first places to grind in the game because the rock fireflies will instantly heal you. However, just as a warning, regular uh, regular battles really don't give that much XP or money. So I do not suggest grinding in this game, really. Unless you're just trying to level up your additions, which I kind of am. Not really worth it. <clears throat> but if you are under leveled, great place to catch up. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Lala. How are you doing? We appreciate you. Yes, thank you for joining us. <laughs> Pardon me. What an awful noise that was. The, the, the green thing? Yeah. Some sort of hazardous balloon. This feels like I appreciate boss. you, Lala. And of course, it's no problem. I honestly oh. really hated this boss fight. Uh, I knew there was a boss fight coming up. Mm -hmm. Just looked like that kind of room. Woody says you should have a session of Wild Arms sometime. Wild Arms is definitely on the list. I plan on... I'd like to go through a lot of the old school PS1 games. Especially some of the ones I can get dulled up to look a little better. Uh, but yeah, Wild Arms is on there. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics is on there. Xenogears is on there because I've never played through Xenogears. Um, but yeah, it'll be, it'll be a bit of a PS1 channel for a little while. Uh... I plan on doing like little, little different streams here and there for some more modern games, just for fun. But Ooh, you know what we could do for a modern like community night for people that have the Switch. What's that? We could play some uh, Super Smash. Oh yeah! Just get a bunch <laughs> of random people in for Smash. Yeah. That'd be fun. We um, get school, but yeah. Oh yeah, but I mean, since since your brother's giving you the capture card and you're going to be able to stream that. We could stream that. Sounds like a plan, darling. Sounds like a plan. You already know who I'm gonna play. I mean... Okay. 
I'm gonna play Kirby. Yeah. And I'm gonna play Lucas. Because <clears throat> I am trashed here. And I love Mother 3. And if you've never played Mother 3, you should go out there and get the fan translation for it. You want to talk about a game that kicks you in the feels? That whole game is feels. Can you? Do you have that game? I do not. It was uh, it was released on the Game Boy Advance, I believe, only for Japan. Never got a translation. Was never brought over. But uh, there are two really good fan translations out there. I watched a playthrough on uh, the Completionist second channel before he went to the dark side or whatever. Um, and yeah, it was it was a really good game. Shame about that guy. I still... I haven't heard whether or not the allegations against him have been confirmed. But even still, it, it looked real bad. Well, I don't have any more spark mats, apparently. I would definitely watch um, Wild Arms. That's one of my favorite old school games. That's one of those, like, you know, people used to keep, like, albums, guilty pleasure albums that they wouldn't let anybody else see them or let them hear them listen to or whatever. Wild Arms is kind of like that for me because I could not sell that game to anybody. Like, they'd look at the graphics compared to what else was out there at the time and just be like, bro, why would I bother? Um, so I'm really kind of hung up on playing the original. I think I'm going to also play the PS2. It was kind of a remaster. It was called Alter Code F. And from all I've seen of it, I never got a chance to play it. It was basically a PS2 graphics version of the original Wild Arms. With a few additions and changes, but... Um, I don't know. We'll probably hit up both at some point. Yeah, that's definitely one of the ones, one of the all-time classics I want out there. I was never uh, a big fan of any of the sequels, even though I know a lot of people got their entry at 2, 3, and, and further. But the original still, still hits, in my opinion. But I am hoping with uh, this week, me and Squish are going to be focusing on streaming as much as possible. And I'm really, really hoping we get uh, the opportunity to get through this somewhat quickly. Like, I don't want to rush it or anything. Um, but I, I just want to get some really good VODs out there for the channel so people can kind of check us out when we're not online and see if we're something they want to check out when we are. Right now, we just don't have any content out there just mm. got started yeah and you know the the differences between me and you with with our content um like you're doing rpgs i do call of duty and fortnite so mm -hmm. it's, it's a contrast <laughs> yeah we're definitely hitting different audiences if yep. that's what you mean yep Aren't you supposed to wait for him to come back out before you attack? Um, you can attack him with Shanna. <laughs> and you can attack him with, like, your, uh, those things. Alright. Yeah, she ain't really... Unless you're trying to get SP, it's not even worth using her damn regular attack. Yeah, so, yeah, you kind of do have to wait for him to come back out. Meanwhile, I'm over here watching my little shrimp eat because it's just so adorable. <laughs> it's just cute because he like he'll just he'll look to see if the fish is near him, then he'll reach his little arm out, pick something up, and slowly bring it to his mouth. It's adorable. <laughs> like I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to eat shrimp again. <laughs> Aww. 
And then, of course, my my koi fish, because she's a koi, she thinks she's playing with him. She'll go close to him, and he will touch her with his, like, his feeler thing. And she'll freak out and swim away, and then she'll come back and do it again. So she thinks she's <laughs> playing. So it's just, it's super cute. She tried to cuddle him the other night. <laughs> Versus. Well, I'm, glad <laughs> I'm glad they're getting along better than it and the snail did, because, yeah, that was... The snail. I took the snail out of the tank and put him in a dish of water himself, and he combusted. <laughs> so then I went to get the shrimp, and the guy at the pet store, he's like, Are you sure you should be putting a shrimp in with a koi beta? And mom's like, Well, I have one. And then. I mean, like, that was my first thought, too, <laughs> because betas are notorious for being kept alone. Yeah. Because they'll just kill whatever's in their area. Yeah. Um, and, you know, like he said, he's like, okay, well, if your mom has one, that's fine. But if she starts beating on him, bring him back. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'll bring yeah. him back. But she's not beat on him once. She went up and sniffed him. The first day. So... He's looking a lot better after his molt, though. Look at that giant snake. Damn. This was, like, the most confusing part ever. At 13. Oh, and everything to do with Shauna at first is super confusing. Yeah. <laughs> You know, they don't really explain it until the end of the game anyway. Yeah. That face, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the slowdown's not helping. So this is our second major slowdown. Mm -hmm. First one was the dragon. Mm -hmm. Oof, that's rough, y'all. Down to eight frames. Of a total of 15 we could have. <laughs> really? Yeah, so apparently those in-game cutscenes uh -huh. um, get limited to 15, but it could only do 8. Wow. And battles are 20, and usually hang at 20, unless there's some kind of little graphical something. Mm -hmm. And then regular maps, 30. Mm -hmm. mm. I mean, that's not horrible for graphics back then yeah but I, like I said they're, they haven't made the engine utilize like your graphics card to help with the load and the, the renderers that they're using are like barely getting by basically mm -hmm. you can't use your computer's extra power basically to make it work like it should so right. it'll get better in time but it's still playable mm -hmm. I'm not mad at it and still better than the PS1 emulated version so far. Oh, I'm supposed to have the Twitch thing up, aren't I? Um, the, oh, on your second screen for the chat? Mm-hmm. I mean, you can. But can I be logged in the same time you are? Yeah. You should be able to. All right, then we might get that up for the second half of the day. Yeah. 
because I'm gonna step away here in a second to go grab some lunch. Yeah, I really need to do that myself, but I don't want to hold anybody up. You want to do like a little half hour break here in a little bit, just so we can both go ahead and get our lunch out of the way? Yeah, we can do that. Um, we're just, we're about five minutes away from our two hour mark. Oh, then. Well, yeah, no. I'll go ahead and keep pushing it for now. Yeah, I was going to say, if you want to go past the two hour mark, that is fine. Um, oh, I, yeah, I don't. For me, I tend to kind of stop and. When I remember, I stop and, like, stretch at the two-hour mark. <laughs> well, I may go throw myself a little cup of ramen in there and come back and just keep going. Yeah. I mean, we, I'm sure we can both mute our mics while we're eating. Oh, yeah. And answer when we can. Um, just let me know. Oh, I'm sure I can. Be right back, screen up. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm sure I can still do commentary between slurping down some ramen. Mm -hmm. Ramen with shrimp or just ramen? Just ramen. Okay. Might throw some mushrooms in there. Honestly, the last batch of shrimp I bought from the grocery store wasn't great. Really? Um, yeah, I haven't been using shrimp in my ramen at all lately because of that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God, I love the look of this city. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I loved this city. So, it's there okay. is... One, two, three, four, five... There's six Stardust here. Good God. Okay. Do we want to go ahead and get those going? Um, do you want to do those first before we do anything, just to make sure we get them? Yeah, might as well. Okay, so... The well in Slambert Plaza... Is this a well? Or is this a fire? No, I think it's over by Lavitz's house. This says right rear of town. That'd be, yeah, that'd be the right. Ah, here we go. Okay. Uh, the weapon shop in the Crate of Spears. <clears throat> This is the weapon shop. I don't think it is either. I always... The end. The colors on the doors... Mixed me up a lot, because I was like, well, what shop is this? Where right. Is the weapon shop? Creative Spears. There we go. So the next two are in the castle. In the plaza? No, they're in the castle. Castle. Okay. Uh, I think that's where we're supposed to go next. Yes. Anyway, so. Yeah, because if you try to go to his mother's, he's like, I need to report to the castle. Okay, so. This is one of my favorite songs in the game, too. Mm -hmm. The basement area in the furnace. I remember the one here. Right over there. I think. Right. Yep. There was a chest there as well. Uh, not in there. Up here. To your left. Right it, as you come in. Right there. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. And the next one is... The upper level, back of the raised room on the left. You may have to get that after the cutscene. Yeah, you have to go up a level. Back of the raised room on the left. This one. Okay. 
Got it. And then the next one is um, after this area. <clears throat> the, after next this area. the next one's when you take the boat. You give okay. the guy spirits. Did you ever do that? Did I what? Did you ever do the part where the drunken fisherman guy was and you gave him drinks? I don't remember if I did. Okay. This bitch. Why well, is he a bitch? In the back, not the king. Oh, yeah. Fucking Lloyd. Uh, the grand villain of Legend of Dragoon. Lloyd. Right. <laughs> what a name. And this guy. I always called him Noish. What else would you call him? Is that how you would pronounce it? I mean, that's how I would say it. Yeah, Minister Noish. Okay. It just, it flowed better than Noish. Mm. Just trying to dump her on anybody's doorstep, huh, Dart? Mm -hmm. Wow, that escalated quick. <laughs> I mean, they're like the love interest. Oh, yeah. And he's the typical aloof hero. Mm -hmm. That doesn't. Imperial Sandora obtained the force called the dragon. <laughs> I thought it was a dragon, bro. No, it's the dragon, man. Even though there's a bunch. We are holding the battle line in hopes. But if the dragon can fly at low altitudes and directly attack the castle, we cannot defend it. Even with the high ramparts. Well, haven't seen the dragon fly yet, King, so you should be alright. Right. I mean, because I always thought it was a praying mantis, but praying mantises fly. They can. Yeah. So maybe it just it's just like, nah, I don't want to right now. And they're freaking terrifying when they do, too. <laughs> Right. That's a big bug. Oh, yeah. And I mean, the female eats the male's head, so... Was that make it all better for you? No, that makes it worse. Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> so to see it in-game and be like, oh my god, a, like a praying mantis, it's like, oh fuck. <laughs> Whose head is it gonna eat? Thank you, Salty, for dropping that follow. I appreciate you. Thank you, Salty. The only thing I know is the black monster is called the devil that disobeyed the great existence. What? <laughs> what <does that> mean? <laughs> it is also known for devouring the god. Just what? One? Just one god. Devouring the god? Yes, surprisingly, it shows up in history beginning 11,000 years ago. 11,000 years ago is the time the dragon campaign ended. You're exactly right, your majesty. Instead, I will tell you the story of the dragon campaign. It's not what I asked for, but okay. Oh, yeah, this is the big info dump. Creatures that can use them as slaves. The slaves suffered a terrible domination and injustice. 
that in anger to turn to a flame of fury. A gust of wind moves out of the pass, spreading the flame to a blazing fire. The wind was Emperor Diaz. Seven incarnations of dragons served the Emperor. Their bravery inspired people to take up arms. Thus began the dragon campaign. It was a harsh war. Both people and Wingleys suffered countless injuries and fatalities. After a long period of suffering, it was the humans who acquired the future. The age of humans had begun. Don't know why that movie was so much louder than the rest of the game, but oh well. I could have swore I just saw a depiction in that of a human eating a wingling. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind Probably of Kongol's ancestor. He got hungry. Maybe. Albert looks like he's got an eye patch on with that graphical <laughs> glitch. <laughs> Out. Who pieced out? Oh. Um. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I think you have to go down there for a cutscene. Yeah, it's that pixel over there. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that pixel over there. This one was a good one as well. Mm -hmm. God. <laughs> See, they call it they call it the Kingdom of Basil, but it's Indel's castle and the land's called Bale? Or is Basil just so, the term they use for Bale? In my comprehension of that, Basil would be like I live in the province of Nova Scotia. Mm -hmm. Bale would be the town within kind of like within Nova Scotia the town 
I get what you mean, Darlin. I just, yeah. I don't think they sorted it out like that, is my point. No, but, <laughs> but like, at 11 years old, that would have been my comprehension. It would have been like the country and then the town. Yeah. So, what about that last Stardust? Or was there another? Okay, so, now, you have to go back into the town part. And you're gonna stop at the inn, I do believe, and buy a spirit. Or a drink, or whatever. Oh, yes, you have to come down here first because you have to open the um, thing. There's like a little switch or a circular thing. See, that chest didn't have a thing on it. <coughs> yeah, it didn't. But that's not the kind of crate that I was talking about. There's, uh, there's two kinds. There's the kind with the logo on it, mm -hmm. and there's the wooden ones that are just plain like that. Okay. Uh, what switch was I supposed to hit in here? Okay, so you're gonna go- not in there. Oh. You're gonna- you're gonna go back down to the basement area where you got the first one. Okay. I could've swore there was a weapon for Lavitz in here, too. Think so. I don't. Well, I can't say I don't think so because I've never got it. So, if there is. Okay, so you're gonna go. Not up. You're gonna go to your right. And then. Down? No. no. It's a pompous place. Mm hmm. <laughs> Okay, there should be a ladder you can get to in here, somewhere. But maybe it's not from this part of the castle. Okay. You're gonna go up. There's the ladder. I do believe. And it'll take you down. It'll take you to that one. Yeah, you're gonna pull that. Because you gotta open that first. This is my memory processing, but not processing, guys. I apologize. <laughs> so now you're going to go out of the castle. Yeah, and I, I will in just a sec. Mm -hmm. Give me a minute. Well, take your time. I'm just saying that's the next step for the Stardust. Mm -hmm. um, I do believe you could go upstairs. Yeah, that's kind of what I was looking for, was that other path down. There was a... Like, if you go up to, like, the throne room, there's a door to the left. I'm trying to remember my directions. The right. Yeah, so if you go up and to the right... You can go in that door, and it'll lead you to his room. And you'll see Lloyd in there. <laughs> and if you talk to Lloyd, he'll say, you're not supposed to be in here. <clears throat> and it'll take you here. What? Yeah. And I don't remember what that room was used for. Okay, so now you're going to go. So you're going to go to the inn. Oh. oh, this is the little art girl. She's all right obsessed with Lavitz. <laughs> she like draws him every time she sees him. Um, and you're going to go to the left inside the inn. And 
by a spirit from the birth. Okay, now you're gonna go outside. Okay, you see that fountain there? Mm -hmm. Remember you tried to go down the stairs, so you're gonna go down there now. And you're gonna give the spirit to this drunken man. <laughs> Because before, he wouldn't have let you through. <laughs> well, I'll have it, and then he just hobbles on. Okay, mm -hmm. you're gonna go this way and get on the boat. Chest up here as well. <laughs> I remember this one. All that for 20, 20 G. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it says take the optional boat exit, then check the wine stash at the end of the hall. So this one gives multiple things because it'll say do you multiple want to stardust here? no just the one stardust but it'll give you an option it'll say do you want to stop here do you want to continue on uh, directionals for the boat Get you under the castle. Are you just uh, not gonna go any further? Uh oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay. Like, Glitched a little bit, apparently. <laughs> did we break it? Uh, I mean, it might break on its own. It was a janky game to begin with. This is true. All right, get off the boat. Yeah. Yeah, it's blocked off by that wash basin, looks like. Um, so... There, there it is. That's the one. Alright. And then the next Nothing else one, to worry about here? The next one is just at Lavitz's house in the kitchen. Woody says he's out. He'll stop by again and say hi. Long days and pleasant nights to both of us. Oh, good deal. You as well, my friend. Take care. Thank you, Woody. Hope and we'll see, see you later. Soon. The days go by so fast. Do what? The days go by so fast now. Why? They just feel like they go by fast. Okay. Which is good, but also bad. Well, I'm just counting down the days till you get here, darling. Two weeks. I know. I think that was that, that route there was just like a scenic route. Do what? The little area you just went into, it was just kind of like a scenic route to look out into the water. Yeah. Yeah, 
forget about the old man that told you about Stardust. Yeah.